Hello, let's quickly learn all about k-maps to get the simplified version of an equation of three variables. I have done another video on two variables as well and I suggest you to go through it as well. Alright, let's say I have been given with an equation which is x dash y dash z dash plus x y dash z dash plus x dash y z dash plus x y z dash so this is the equation i've been given with and i have to get the simplified version using k maps all right now just for this first time i'm gonna uh, make the truth table of this equation just so that you can understand better but later on you can do it directly with the equation and i'll show you how okay so now that we have three variables we know that the truth table will be somewhat like this xyz and this will be the output so you know how to make a truth table of three variables if you don't you should know that we write four zeros for x for the first variable four ones and then we write two zeros two ones for the next variable Again, two zeros and two ones, and for the last variable, we write zero one, zero one, and so on. So this is how we write the all, we write all the possible uh, situations, all the possible terms of uh, this equation. All right. Now, uh, wherever this term, these terms occur, it will be one. Right. These are basically the min terms. Uh, this is the equation in canonical form. Uh, I hope you know that terminology. If you don't, it's fine. It, don't worry about it. So wherever these terms occur, so for x dash, y dash, z dash, basically the terminology will be 0, 0, and 0, right? So 0, 0, 0 is the first one. It will be 1. And x, y dash, z dash, it's, it will be 1, 0, 0. Basically, wherever it, there is complement, I'm writing 0. And wherever the variable is without complement, I'm just writing 1. So 1, 0, 0 is here this will be one now this one will be obviously x is complemented so 0 1 and 0 which is here 0 1 0 and x y dash is 1 1 0 so 1 1 0 is here and all the rest of the possible cases will be 0 all right okay um, so this is the truth table now, as you can see, there are basically eight possible cases. So since there are eight possible cases, I'm going to make eight boxes. So in the two variable video, I made four boxes because there were four possible scenarios. But now I have eight possible scenarios, eight possible terms. So I'm going to make eight boxes. I hope they are big enough. All right. So here I'm going to write X on this side. And on this side, since now we have two variables, we have to write them together. So y and z, right? Okay. Again, so here I'm going to write 0. And in the next row, I'm going to write 1. Now, the next thing, which is a bit tricky as well, is how to write the values of y, z on this side, right? So we will start from here. So x was 0 and y is 0, z is 0. So 0, 0, I'm going to start from here. So I'm going to write 0 for y and 0 for z. Right, so this box basically will be 0, 0, 0. And then for the next term here, I can see it is 0 and 1. So I can write 0 and 1 here. So basically this box will be 0, 0, 1, this term, right, the second term. And now for the third box here, I can see that the next possible case is 1, 0. So I should write 1, 0, but there is a little bit of problem. The problem is that we have a rule that while going from one box to the other box, only one variable should change. Two variables cannot change, only one can change. So you can see from the first box to the second box, y, the value of y is 0, and again here it is 0. So y was constant, it was not changing, and z was changing from 0 to 1. Right, that was fine. But here you can see that y is changing from 0 to 1 and at the same time z is changing from 1 to 0 and that is not fine. So we can't do that because that is the rule. So th that was the only tricky part 
in this whole tutorial. That is the only tricky part. So we can't write one zero here. So since we can't do that, I'm going to pick the next pair, which is one, one. So I'm going to write one, one here instead, right? I'm going to write one and one. And you can see that while doing so, this is fine because zero is changing to one. That is Y is changing from zero to one, but Z now is constant. So it's fine. All right. And what was left one zero, I'm going to write that here now, right? That makes it for all the possible um, cases. Okay. Uh, one more thing. I'm going to label these terms as M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, and so on. And basically this is what we do in min terms as well. If you have studied them before, hopefully, and if, if not, it's fine. Um, you're going to get to this tutorial, even if you haven't read about them, hopefully. All right, so these are the seven terms. I'm going to write these terms here just so, so that you can you can see and you know you, you can remember. So the first one is 0, 0, 0. That is x is 0, y is 0, and z is 0. Th that is basically the term m0. The term m1 is 0, 0, 1, which is 0, 0, and 1. So it is m1 here. But you can see clearly this is not m2 because m2 was 0, 1, 0. And this is clearly not 0, 1, 0. This is 0, 1, 1, which is basically m3. So M3 here and then M2 here. And similarly, you can see the next one is M4, M5, M7, and M6. Just these terms, I've labeled them and then I'm, I've written the labeled version here. So this is fixed now. So every time you are going to solve uh, anything, an, an equation of three variables through KMAP, this is fixed. You are always going to draw the table like this, right? So I just told you the reason for, of, of this thing, this tricky thing, one time, you should know the reason. All right, now let's solve it. It's easy from here onwards. Okay, so now we have to basically fill this truth table here in the K-map. So wherever M0 was, this was M0. The output of M0 was 1. I'm going to write 1 here. The output, the M1 term, the output of M1 term is 0. I'm going to write that here. M2 is again 1. M3 is 0. M4 is 1. Uh, M5 is 0, M6 is 1, and M7 is 0. All right, so I have filled it. And if you're not provided with this table, there is no need to make it. If, if you think that takes longer, you, there is no need to make it. Just write the values of these terms here like this. And wherever these terms occur, just write 1. So for example, x dash, y dash, z dash is 0, 0, 0. So at the place of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, just write 1. Similarly, x dash, y dash, z, sorry, x, y dash, z dash is 1, 0, 0. So search for 1, 0, 0. This is it. Write 1 here. Similarly, x dash, y, z dash is 0, 1, 0. So search for 0, 1, 0. This is the place. Just write 1 here. So for all these terms, write 1. And the leftover places, you can write 0 there. All right. So now that we have filled it, now let's quickly make the groups. Now we have some rules to make the groups. Uh, basically, first of all, we will make the groups of only ones. The first thing we won't make the groups of zero because right now the equation is in sum of products. It is in min terms. So when the equation is in this form, we will only focus on the ones, not zeros. So for the max terms, we can do another video. But for now, if the equation is in this form, you will only focus on ones in this form. By this form, I mean you have the products and they are being added. Sum of products, right? Okay. So the rule number one is you, you have to make the groups as large as possible. Rule number two is you have to make the groups. You can only make the groups in the power of two. That means you can make a group of either one, two, one ones, or two uh, number of ones, or four number of ones, or eight, and so on. So you can only make groups in that numbering, in that counting. Um, sec third thing is you can also wrap the groups around. So for example, uh, let's say, let's see, I can make a group here like this, a group of two. I can make this and a group of two here. But I can also wrap around. So the borders can be wrapped around. So this can be made into a one big group, right? Something like this. 
what I'm trying to say is I can wrap around see like this so if I do this if I make this bigger group it's better because the rule number one was to make the group as large as possible and we can make this because these are these these will be four ones and we can do that right we can make a group of four ones so we will do that instead all right now that i've made this group the next thing is the next rule is how to write the value from these groups all right so step number one was fill this truth table step number two is or make the groups and step number three is write the value for these groups so for each group i'm going to write a value so since i have made one large group of four ones i'm going to write one term here and the rule to write the term from these groups is you will only write that variable which does not change which stays constant so we'll write all those variables which stays constant in this group so what do i mean by this so here in this uh, particular uh, box the value is 0 0 0 here the value is 1 0 and 0 here the value is 0 1 0 and here it is uh, 1 1 0 right so we can clearly see that x has changed from 0 value 0 to 1 here so x is changed it's not constant we won't write x the next thing is y so y is constant y is 0 here and here now let's check it here so y is has changed its value to 1 here so again y is not constant let's check out 0 uh, sorry let's check out z so z variable the last variable is 0 here it is 0 here again in these two boxes it is 0 so it has not changed its value so we can write z as our simplified equation one more thing the value of z matters so if the value of z is 0 we will write z bar or z complement if it is 1 we will just write z and we can prove this so this is basically our answer this is our answer and we can prove that this equation simplifies to just z dash how we can do that let's prove it so from this equation is whole equation i can take z dash common right z bar or z dash common if i take that out i'm left with x dash y dash plus x dash sorry it's not x dash it's just x i'm gonna clear it so x y dash plus x dash y z dash plus x y z dash oh, sorry <laughs> i don't have to write z because i have taken that out sorry so uh, then last one is x y all right uh, next is z dash and i can take uh, i can take y dash common here right so y dash and x dash plus x in the next one i can take y common in these two terms i can take y common so i'm left with x dash plus x all right these can be cancelled because they are identity they equals to one and one multiply by anything is the same thing so now i have y dash plus y again y dash plus y can be cancelled they are identity and i'm left with z dash so hence proved that the simplified version of this equation is actually z dash and we have achieved that through this here and which is much easier than this once you have understood kmap it will be very easier as compared to this let's look at a different example just one more example so that you can understand it uh, better so let's say i'm given with an equation x dash y z dash plus x dash y z plus x y dash z dash plus x y dash z this is my equation and i have to fill the truths uh, fill the k map and and solve this equation so let's quickly make the eight boxes of the k map all right and then let's label it x here y and z here all right so if you are given with any equation the first thing that you have to do is write the values of from these equation so if this equation is in sum of products form or you know the value is 0 1 0 so wherever there is prime 0 and wherever it is not just 1 0 1 0 so and 1 0 1 and 1 
zero zero and one zero one right so here it's zero it's one we have already learned how did we write it so zero 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 one 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 and one zero all right now zero zero uh, first of all look for the first term zero one zero so zero one zero here you will write one the second term is one zero one right so one zero one this is the place you will write one here and then one zero zero it will be one zero zero here this is where you will write it and then last one is one zero one so one one I did some mistake. Sorry, this is this was zero. One one. Sorry, the dash is with X. I'm sorry. So zero one one, and this one is one zero one. This one is right. This one is zero one one. So we'll search for zero one one. This is here. This is one. The, the, this was done by mistake. Just this one. The the other one is fine. So this is how we have done it. Now let's make the groups. So the rule is make the group as large as possible. Number two, you can only make the groups in uh, the power of twos. That is one, two, four, eight, and so on. And we can also wrap the group on the borders. But here we can't wrap. We can make this group here. We can't wrap because there is nothing to wrap on this border, right? Or on this border. We, there is nothing to wrap on this border. So we will make this group here and we'll, we'll make this group here. So these are the two groups. So for every group, we will write one term and then we will write the equation as a sum of those terms. So for this group, we have to see the rule is that we have to see what changed. So the variable which stays constant, we just write that. So here we can see that y is constant in both these terms and z has changed. So we will just write y. And again, we will write simple y because here it is 1. If it was 0, we would have written y prime. x has also not changed, right? x is basically the value here is 0, 1, 1. And the value here is 0, 1, 0. So x has not changed and y has not changed. So we will write x and y. And x is 0 here, right? So we will write x prime y. And here we will see what did not change. So 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 1. So we can clearly see that x did not change, so x and y did not change, z changed. So since y did not change, we'll write y and also y is 0, so y prime. So the final solved equation is x y dash plus x dash y. I hope that was helpful. Do let me know if you have any questions.